New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys a unique or useful tool that I think you might be interested in. Now, today's tool is one of Harbor Freight's newer tools. In fact, I was online just last week and I seen it listed as a new tool. I went to the nearest Harbor Freight and I asked them if they had them in stock. They looked on their shelves, they couldn't find them, but they ran the SKU number in a computer and it said they had two. They went to the back storeroom and they found one and they sold it to me. So I'm pretty excited to show you how this guy works. So in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is a compact infrared thermal camera. So it kind of works like those little point and shoot devices that give you temperatures on steroids. The LCD color screen on the back is 1.8 inches. So that is a diagonal measurement. It's not too big, not too small. It gets the job done. But the best part of this little device is it does have an SD card that you can export all of your images onto the computer. You can either remove the SD card and use it that way, or you can plug it into the USB port on your computer and it'll see this guy as a drive. If you're not familiar with how these things operate, it's kind of simple. There's two cameras inside. That's why there's two funny lenses here. One is designed to pick up heat and one is designed to be just a normal standard camera. It takes both of those images and it overlaps them. You can adjust the opacity of each one of those. So if you want to make the overlay of the heat sensor really dark, you can, or if you want the picture to show through, you can fade it off a little bit. We'll show you how that works too. It's a really cool device and the technology has just now kind of come down to where the consumers or the DIYers can afford these things. I'm really happy to see that Harbor Freight is selling a higher end piece of equipment that some of us techie people can really enjoy and use and it's really going to help us troubleshoot a lot of things. Now let's go ahead and test this guy out so you guys can see how it works. Now there's a bunch of different readings that you're going to see on the screen that are really going to be helpful. In the top left corner is pretty much the average temperature of what's in the center. So the center of this device right now is reading 144 degrees and on the bottom left is a maximum temperature and the bottom right is a minimal temperature. And you're going to see these little squares bouncing around on the screen, a red one and a green one, and they're constantly hunting out the lows and the highs. So this green square is the lowest temperature in the frame right now and it's reading about 71 degrees, which is probably the temperature in the shop right now. The red square is centering right around the center of the cup here and it is reading 145 degrees, which is probably the surface temperature of the coffee cup. Earlier we were talking about the opacity of the images. Remember, it's basically two images in one. It's a heat map image and it's also a regular camera image. They just get combined and that is what you're seeing here. If you press up and down on these arrows, it'll adjust the opacity for you. So if you want to, you can turn the heat map itself all the way on and that little thing to the right is actually a, a bottle that I pulled out of the refrigerator and the big red blurb to the left is obviously my cup of coffee. If I change that and blend the picture back in, you can clearly see what's going on here. And I can actually turn off the heat map and leave just the camera image on itself. Now quickly going through the menu, the SD card function lets you format it or take a look at the pictures on the device itself. You can review those from your hand. The color lets you change the spectrum that you want. So you can set this up so the white is very hot or you can set it up so that you know, maybe red is very hot. And there's a couple different formats that you can change that. There's also another setting here that allows you to adjust it for the objects that you're pointing it at. Different objects, whether they're shiny or black, require a different setting. Those are in the manual. You can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and you obviously can put a date or a timestamp on the images that you're saving. The device itself is relatively small. It fits in my hand quite nicely. It's not really heavy. It does run on four AAA batteries, and those batteries are included at the time of purchase. So what would you use one of these for? Well, there's a lot of uses for one of these guys. I and mean, we're constantly trying to figure out what the temperature of various things are, whether we're working on boats or just building something. If you're trying to do some HVAC work and you want to measure what some of the temperatures are on some of your lines, or you want to take a look at the compressor and see how hot it's getting, this would be perfect for that. If you want to look for hot zones on your engine, maybe there's different areas on the engine that are running a little bit hotter than other areas. This would be ideal for that. You could at a glance get to visually see all of the hot spots spots on anything you're looking at and all of the cool spots and get a rough idea of what's going on. So there you have my quick and dirty review of the Ames Professional Compact Infrared Thermal Camera. I think if a mechanic had one of these in their toolbox, they would find it very valuable and they would be able to get a lot of information that they wouldn't normally be able to get elsewise. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.